There are two kinds of football fans. One applauds every goal because they know how tough it is to score one. The other shifts the goalpost. They find reasons to criticise. Maybe the opponents were not tough enough, maybe the defence was poor, or maybe the player just got lucky. In this case, India has just scored a wonderful goal. I'm talking about the GDP numbers. Experts said India would grow by 6.6% in the last quarter. That's October, November and December. 6.6% was a projection, but the actual growth was 8.4%. It's a ridiculously high number. In footballing terms, like a bicycle kick from the penalty box, that good. And most fans are applauding it. Like the International Monetary Fund or the IMF, they say India is easily the fastest growing economy. Yet, doubters remain. Look at this Bloomberg report. It says India's blowout GDP figure masks signs of slower growth. So what are they playing at? A different indicator called GVA. That's gross value added, GVA. Now, some experts are saying that GDP is great, but what about GVA? So tonight, let's answer that question. What is GVA? Why is it relevant? And why has it suddenly popped up? Is this a case of shifting the goalpost? Some technicalities first. Both GVA and GDP are measures of economic output. You can calculate GVA from the GDP. Just add all the subsidy payments by the government, subtract the tax revenue, and what you're left with is gross value added, GVA. India's GVA rose 6.5% in the last quarter. Before that, it grew by 7.7%. So India's GVA growth has slowed down. And the naysayers have latched on to this. Suddenly, GDP does not matter. Everyone's talking about the GVA. Convenient, isn't it? But let's indulge them for a moment. Why has the GVA pace reduced? It could be because of two major reasons. Either India's tax collection has increased a lot, or maybe the subsidy payments have fallen. Now, we don't know which one is true. But forget the technicalities for the moment. Focus on how important these numbers are. 8.4% GDP growth does not happen randomly. It shows that the economy is resilient. It shows confidence and trust in India's trajectory. And do not forget the context. When you read India's GDP numbers, you must factor two things. Number one, the global slowdown. Most major economies are struggling. The likes of Germany and Japan are in a technical recession. China's growth is just 5.2%. Imagine logging 8.4% in that context. It shows that India is a bright spot, like a winch pulling the global economy up. Factor number two, inflationary pressures. In 2022 and 2023, the Reserve Bank of India increased lending rates almost six times back to back. The idea was to curb the rising inflation, but in April last year, the RBI hit pause. It decided to hold the rate steady. It was a brave move at that juncture. Because even halfway into 2023, India's inflation was more than 7%, but the gamble paid off. The latest inflation number is 5.1%. If you exclude food and fuel, it's just 3.6%. Not perfect, but getting there. So India deserves a lot of credit for this GDP growth. It's not easy in these circumstances. I guess the question is, what next? We are into the last month of this financial year. The earlier projection for annual growth was 7.3%. It has now been increased to 7.6%. That should make India the fastest growing major economy in this financial year. Some, some tweaks are necessary, though. Manufacturing, for example, needs more attention. It grew by 11% compared to 14% in the quarter before. Private consumption is also a problem. It's very sluggish at 3.5%. Investment, though, is the driver. Investment increased more than 10% compared to last year. A lot of that is coming from the government. In fact, public capital expenditure remains the driver of India's growth, and it's paying off. We're talking about things like roads and bridges, schools and hospitals, things that can multiply your growth. It's a question of when these dividends will kick in. Until then... Let's applaud this miracle goal in a season where even penalties are scarce. This one is a stunner.